An agent is a it's a kind of a is a piece of software which is a is a representative of yourself or of the company and represents the goals and desires of these companies and tries to act on their behalf with some degree of autonomy that could be fully autonomous if you trust that agent uh, fully or it has been done a lot of time and you say this is great or with some degree of autonomy meaning that the agent comes back to you and say hey uh, is that okay are you fine with it and I say yeah that's very good just go ahead. So it's a bit like when we go shopping and we get on a website you bought this would you like this and this that's an agent is it? Uh, something like this like for example like amazon.com uh, has a very simple agent recommendation agent but it's a very uh, simplistic agent because it can only see what you have done on that Amazon side so we are uh, a couple levels of abstraction higher. So these are going to be sort of uh, little agents that would help a trader make buying decisions that's what they'll do yes I mean uh, I would tell, uh, say they are like agent uh, assistant decision making so they're kind of an assistant for you so you don't have to be afraid for them they kind of grow it's like little babies you feed them information they learn from you what are your preferences are what your goals are and then they try to make good suggestions for you they present you with recommendations and you can decide oh this is very good or this is not so good and if you say this and this is good this and this is not so good then the agent learns how is it good for energy trading? For energy trading, uh, think about, like we said, with many other tradings, the cognitive overload is just running so much nowadays that as a human we cannot just process this uh, flattery of information anymore. So we need decision help, decision aids. And these agents can help us to do so. They can filter unnecessary information for us, they can pre process uh, data, and they can present it for us. That does not mean that we don't need skilled labor force anymore. We do need uh, very much skilled labor so force. To replace energy no, trading. No, 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 no. There, there will be just a better tool, right, to, to, to make decisions. You can actually try different scenarios, can't you? Like, we go to a full nuclear future or we have 100% renewable energy. You can try different types. Yes. So the beauty about these games is that we can really play what-if scenarios. So we can say, like, for example, the German government decided up until 2020 to have 1 million electric vehicles on the road, 2030, 10 million. So then we can see, okay, what happens if you slowly introduce these electric vehicles onto the grid? How should the infrastructure look like? Which kind of effect will it have on balancing? Uh, what, uh, how should the energy portfolio look like? Uh, how should dynamic pricing tariffs look like to incentivize the people to buy these cars and uh, maybe also to sell energy back to the grid? So you can really beautifully and without risk, and that's very important because we want to... And without cost. And without initial cost, yeah. Because we want to avoid uh, things like Enron debacle like 10 years ago, the California energy markets. And these kind of games, so the serious gaming, can help to avoid these things. And it's not called Skynet. It's not called Skynet, no. <laughs> So we don't have to worry. You don't have to worry. No. It's all good. Yeah.